Hello students, hope you are doing well. Welcome back to our economics class. Today we are going to start our 10th unit out of which you are getting 3 2 marks concepts in your board examination and we need to prepare only 7 concepts. Out of 7 you are going to get 3 2 marks and the definitions are very very easy and very simple to understand. So let us begin with our first concept that is pi diagram. A pi diagram is nothing but a part of a diagram. It is a part of a diagram. It is a circle which is divided into as many parts. A circle is divided into as many parts by drawing straight lines from center to circumference. That means in a circle we are dividing it by drawing straight lines from center to circumference. Let me show you with an example. For example, this is a circle. This is the center. From center we are drawing straight lines to the circumference. So in this way I can divide the diagram. So in this a circle is divided into many parts by drawing straight lines from center to the circumference. Circumference means the outline of the circle. From center we are drawing straight lines to the circumference which is nothing but a pi diagram. Second concept is bar diagram. It comprises of equispaced and equi-width rectangular bar each class of data representing each class of data. For example, if this is the x and this is the y axis, if I draw the rectangular bars, the space between the bars must be equal. What bars am I drawing here? The space must be equal between. This is the space. So this must be equal and the width this is called as the width the width must be also equal so a bar diagram comprises of equispaced and equi-width rectangular bars representing each class of data the next one arithmetic mean it is also called as am that is nothing but arithmetic mean and how to find out the arithmetic mean it is nothing but sum of observations by number of observation what is arithmetic mean it is nothing but sum of observation by number of observations then what is mode the value which occurs most frequently in this series the value which is occurring most frequently means which is repeating more number of times is nothing but mode. For example, if I write 1, 2, 2, 3, 4, 2, 8, 2, 2, 9. Then which number is repeating the most? Number 2 is repeating in more number of times. Hence, the mode of the given series is 2. So what I have done here? The value which is occurring most frequently in the series is nothing but mode. There is also a formula for calculating mode that is 3 median minus 2 mean. Mode can be calculated through this formula that is 3 median minus 2 mean. Next the concept is merits of diagram means what are the advantages of drawing diagrams. It attracts eye and mind. That means a well structured, neatly structured diagram. It will attract our eye as well as our mind. It would attract our eye as well as mind. The second merit is you did not require mathematical knowledge. For drawing diagrams, you do not require mathematical knowledge. Then it is very easy to represent data. Through drawing diagrams we can easily represent data. Then fourth merit is it is easy to compare. Means it is easy for comparison. If there are two figures I can easily compare both of the diagrams. So these are the merits of diagram. First is it attracts 
I and mind. Second, it does not require it does not require mathematical knowledge. Third, it is very easy to represent data. Fourth, it is easy for comparison. Next concept uses of subdivided diagram. It represents total value as well as value of different components and it is helpful for comparing one to another one commodity to another let me show you with the help of a diagram for example this is y axis this is x axis if i draw a bar in this way and after drawing it i am dividing it like this means according to some percentage and I'm coloring this part so the colored part indicates private sector uncolored part indicates public sector this is nothing but a subdivided bar diagram in which I can compare one commodity with another commodity then next one is last one that is importance of statistics in economics means why statistics is having importance in economic subject let us see statistical data and analysis helps in solving problems and formulation of economic policy means in order to solve economic problems we require statistics and also for the formulation means making of economic policies also we require statistics and hence it is having much importance in the subject economics so we have completed seven concepts from unit number 10 and you are going to get three very important concepts in your intermediate public examinations note down all the points write it for five times and practice it and learn it for 10 times see you in the next class with some more and interesting topics till that stay home stay safe and always keep practicing